what I want you to take away from this conversation, again, is, is that being aware, being wary of those transitions and the confusion that accompanies them. So what is it about this confusion? What am I talking specifically when I'm talking about this confusion that accompanies this? Well, let's head on over to the Euro US dollar. Look at that daily chart. There it is. And I mentioned I was going to show you how we define the downtrend and how I can recognize the transition. I mean, that's the first step, isn't it? Recognizing the transition. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these two horizontal lines. And what I want to do is start off with a view of this in what I call the market memory, which is for a daily chart, I want to look at about one year. Now, I'm just shy of one year here, but what I want you to look at is the angle of the 34 EMA wave, the angle of these moving averages that I have colored in green, blue, and red. And I want you to notice how long they've been sloping downward at what I would call a, a 4 to 6 o'clock angle. That sloping down at that angle means that, for me, when prices do try to bounce, they are opportunities to short the rally. And, and I like to short the rally if and when they reach what I call my swing short zone. In this case, that would be between the 20 period simple moving average, which is shaded in gray here, and the 34 period EMA on the low, which is red. And that, for quite some time, worked perfectly. The confusion comes twofold because some traders can recognize that this market's starting to change the trajectory, if you will. It's no longer moving lower. It's, it's actually starting to move sideways. It's actually starting to lose that bearish sentiment and momentum, which, by the way, I use my grab candles to measure. Notice that I've got these red shaded candles, and the way I differentiate between the up and down close is a lighter red and a darker red. So, of course, a lighter red would be an up close, a darker red would be a down close. The red means bearishness. The red is, and, and there's nothing proprietary about this, I will tell you, the red is shaded in reference to where it closes along the 34 period EMA low. So if it closes below that, it's red. If it closes above it, it'll actually go blue. So the blue is actually when it's sandwiched between the 34 period EMA low and the 34 period EMA high, the red and the green line. That's when it goes blue. And you can see we're getting more of that. That is reflective of a more neutral market sentiment, more sideways price action. So we went from all this red from where my plan of attack was to short the rallies, and it worked great. I've been doing this steadily since November, right? And here we come. Here's a shift in the market trend. I don't want to suddenly become a bull just because we've had four or five up days. When I change my mind, it's got, it's got to be more visual and consistent. And the visual cue is the loss of that four to six o'clock angle of the wave. In fact, it's been leveling out and getting a little bit more sideways. And then really, for me, what confirms it is the loss of that bearish sentiment, which I can see with the blue grab candles. By the way, grab G-R-A-B stands for green, red, and blue. Okay, I know, very, very clever, right? <laughs> so that's, that's what I call these. These are all, you know, these, these tools, the 34 EMA wave and the grab, were just in-house names that I call these things. I've been using these tools for forever, and, you know, I never really, when I first developed these tools, it wasn't something that I was going to write books about and teach and everything else, so I gave them just names that, my close friends and I, my close trading friends and I would refer to them as, and uh, I wish I would have taken some more time to to name them. <laughs> but wave and the grab, that is how I measure sentiment, momentum, and trend. The trend is measured by the angle of the 34 EMA wave. Prices have been reaching this dynamic resistance since late... October, early November, we're starting to test that resistance by trading further up into it. And now by trading up further up into it, after a bounce, 
the grab candles have gone blue. So here are my clues that there is a transition. The confusion happens like this. Some traders are still bearish, and I still actually am, and I'll explain that in a moment. Some traders are getting bullish. Some traders are having a difficult time shifting gears. And if they had a strategy that was working for them for some time, they have a difficult time abandoning that in such a way that's reflective and respective of what the market is now doing. So that's where the confusion often will come in. Let's talk about what I expect this market to do from here on out. 